Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you what I picked up from the Sephora VIB sale. And if you guys didn't know, Sephora just had a sale that was 15% off if you are a VIB member. So it's pretty cool that they do that sale. They only do it twice a year, one in April and then they have another one in November which is 20% off. So I had my eye on a few items and I actually was so thankful to have some gift cards because my birthday was in March. So I saved my gift cards and I waited for the Sephora VIB sale. I picked up a couple things that I wouldn't normally purchase because these are quite pricey items, but I decided to grab them when the sale was going on. So I can't wait to share them with you. I didn't really pick up too much because like I said, the things that I did purchase were pretty pricey. But anyways, I'm excited to show you what I got. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing that I decided to pick up from the sale was the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation and I have been wanting this foundation for years now and I haven't purchased it because this foundation is $62. Yeah, you heard me right, $62. It is crazy. Let me take it out of the packaging so I can show you what it looks like. It is beautiful. It's like a frosted glass bottle and it also comes with a pump which is really nice but I decided to pick this up and give it a try. I've heard so many people say wonderful things about this foundation and it does say that it's supposed to give you a luminous effect to the skin and recently I feel like everything just looks dry on me. So I don't know if my skin is just becoming more dry lately but I am really searching for things that are going to make my skin look more luminous and glowing. It is what I'm wearing today. I just filmed a tutorial on the makeup look that I'm wearing so I'm not sure which video will be up first whether I'll post the haul or the tutorial. But um, this is what I'm wearing right now and so far I have been loving it. This is my second time wearing it and I've had it on for a few hours now and I'm really enjoying it. It feels very light on the skin, like I don't feel it on my skin at all. It's very comfortable, very lightweight. I would say it gives a light to medium coverage and it is buildable without getting cakey. When I was looking at the pictures that I had taken on my camera wearing this foundation, I just couldn't believe how incredible it looked on the skin. I don't know how to explain it. It literally looks like your skin, but like flawless skin, if that makes any sense. Like, you cannot detect this on the face whatsoever in photography, which is absolutely amazing. So I will keep you guys updated on that and let you know how I'm feeling about it when I wear it a little more. I did purchase another foundation. I also decided to pick up the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I've been hearing so much amazing things about this foundation too that I just had to get my hands on it and I figured while it's 15% off, I might as well. This foundation is a completely full coverage foundation. I mean, so full coverage, it's not even funny. You have to be so careful with this or else it will look like you're wearing a mask. This is what the packaging looks like. It's actually quite similar to the Giorgio Armani. It's got the frosted glass, except for this one's in like a little pill shape and it does not have a pump. This has, it looks like it's a dropper, but it's not. It's just like a little stick. And I think it's because since this is such full coverage, I think you're meant to just dot a little bit on your face or on the back of your hand or onto like a palette or something like that. And then apply it to the skin because you need like the smallest amount ever. I have tried the Marc Jacobs foundation on my skin once and I only left it on for a couple hours so I don't really know how it wears. But I will say that when I applied it, it looked flawless. I've never had any other foundation do what this foundation did to my skin, like literally flawless with the smallest amount of foundation. You could not see anything, but I had to be so super careful because if I layered on any more, it would have literally looked like I was wearing a mask. So you got to be really light handed with this and I will keep you guys updated and let you know how it wears and things like that. So I was in desperate need of an eye cream, so I decided to try this one by First Aid Beauty. This is their Eye Duty Triple Remedy. It says, instantly brighten, depuff, and smooth, safe for sensitive skin. And this is what the packaging looks like. I had my eye on a couple different eye creams, but I compared the ingredients before I decided which one I was going to buy. And this one just seemed like it had the most natural ingredients and the most beneficial ingredients. And I'll just read you the description that it says on the box, and then I'll show you what the actual eye cream looks like. It says... Eye Duty Triple Remedy instantly improves the appearance of dark circles and brightens the under eye area. It's packed with age defying ingredients including retinol, palmitate, caffeine, and licorice root that act over time to minimize the appearance of lines, of fine lines, under eye puffiness, and dark circles. I picked up the one that was suited for fair to medium skin because it actually has a peachy sort of tint to it, which is great because it instantly corrects that darkness underneath the eyes, which is perfect for days where I don't want to wear makeup if I have to go and run errands. I can just put a little bit of this underneath my eyes and it immediately just 
brightens it up a little bit, gives you a little more boost of brightness underneath the eyes. So I have been loving this recently. I've been using this every single day since I bought it and I'm actually really enjoying it. So you squeeze the product out from this side and just do a dot under each eye and then you turn it around and you use the little metal applicator to just blend it in and you can use your finger to like further massage it into the skin. But I love this applicator because it stays cold. So when you go to places underneath your eyes in the morning time, it just really wakes you up and just helps to firm and tighten that skin immediately. So I'll just show you what it looks like. I don't know if you can see it there on the back of my hand, but you just blend it in. And there it is blended in on the back of my hand. It's, it's really subtle, nothing extreme. It's not like a concealer or anything. It just has a little tint of color to help um, really brighten up that under eye. So these next ones, I'm so excited to share with you guys. I never thought I would buy these because I just thought that these are so ridiculously priced, but I always thought that they were so beautiful and I wanted to own them, but I never thought I'd spend the money on it. But since I had gift cards and they were on sale, I'm like, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it. And I ended up buying three of the YSL lipsticks. These are the Rouge Volupt. Volupt? Volupt? These are the Rouge Volupt lipsticks. I think I said that right. I may not have said that right. I just love this packaging. It just calls my name every time that I see these. I'm so drawn to them with the beautiful gold packaging and the YSL detailing. I love that you can see the shade through this little area here and they're just so beautiful. This one is in the shade number one and let me show you. It's sort of like a mauve sort of muted dusty pink. Super pretty. This next one is in the shade number seven and it's sort of like a very bright baby pink. So beautiful. I love all of these colors. There is number seven, the one in the middle. And then the one that I'm wearing right now is the shade number 13, which is a really light, beautiful coral color. And so that is the third one there. I decided to get all summery colors. I just wanted to get things that were nice and light and fun and fresh and colorful. During the fall, I was into all of those like brown, mauve taupey colors and I'm just so ready for the light fresh colors for spring and summer so that's what I decided to pick up. I've been loving the formula so far. They're very creamy, very hydrating, actually very pigmented as you can see from the swatches on the back of my hands. They don't last as long as a matte lipstick would since they are very hydrating on the lips but I just love them. I love how they look. I love how they feel. They're very comfortable, very lightweight. I just love it so much. All right, you guys, and that's it for my Sephora haul. Can you believe it? I really didn't have that much stuff, but like I said, the items that I did pick up were very expensive, so um, I'm excited to keep you guys updated and let you know what I'm thinking about all the products as I'm using them. I'm sure that you'll see me use these products in lots of tutorials coming up, so definitely be expecting to hear more from me about these products that I purchased. And yeah, that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to leave it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye!